All right, so the first thing you want to do, make sure you got a clean pan. I'm going to wipe this bitch out just in case there's like some cockroaches or rats or something fucking around. Um, we're going to wipe it out. Got a nice little paper towel here. Clean paper towels, by the way. You need that. Chat, can you guys can you guys see me? Can you guys see and hear? Don't this this whole kitchen is fucked. So don't worry about it. Uh, it's like a 50 year old trailer. It's a piece of shit. But um, you know, it's what I gotta work with here, okay? Oh, Nico, you're here, okay. Chat's a little small on my screen, hopefully I'll be able to read. I'm gonna have to put on a, a second pair of glasses. Or maybe like a magnifying glass or something. Alright, I wipe the plate off too, just in case some cockroaches and shit are back on there. Um, also, someone finally won bingo. Was it me? Was it me? It better not have been changer. Alright. So the first thing we're going to need is um, some bread. I like to buy the, the premium uh, butter bread because it already is a little bit buttered, but... We're going to butter that shit some more. No, you weren't subbed anymore. Changer and night. Fuck them. Okay. We're going to have to have a talk with them later. Fucking bastards. My Twitch Prime ran out, alright? I don't have a lot of money. Still can't find any work. Alright, here's the bread. You got to make sure it's not moldy or anything. This is looking pretty good. How's the lighting? Can you guys see everything good? All right, I'll close this bread up. Lo siento. I don't know what that means. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that we need to give Changer and Knight a, a stern talking to. All right. So ideally, you want two pieces of bread that are roughly the same size and shape. These are looking fantastic. Um, honestly, I can't see anything wrong with them. So we're going to go ahead and use these two pieces of bread. I'm going to grab the uh, butter and the other, the other stuff that we need. <clears throat> now, normally when I make this, I probably use only like six or seven pieces of cheese, but since, um, you know, I'm on a diet and everything. So we're only going to use two slices of cheese and then maybe some shredded cheese. But uh, we got country crock, some butter. I think it's real butter. It might be. I don't know. They didn't tell me at the grocery store. And then you need some um, chopped ham. It's not really chopped. It's in big-ass pieces, but we're going to use that. Um, I do have two different cheese choices. I think one of these are going to be better for the overall gooey and stickiness of the the grilled ham and cheese. So we're going to go ahead and use mozzarella. All right, so first things first. Got to grab a butter knife. Again, make sure it's clean. Sometimes, I mean, you might be at a stranger's house or something. It might not be clean. But before that, hold on one second. We need the most important ingredient to uh, any good cooking stream. We're going to go ahead and pop open a beer here. Oh yeah, that's good. And you want to keep that away from the flame because you don't want it to get warm. Alright, chat. <coughs> Make sure you guys can see everything here. I know I have to... The shadows are all fucked up. This thing has... This tripod has a fucking light on it. It's got a ring light, but it's got a USB connector. So if I, um, I don't know, maybe I could try to extension cord my PS3 over here to give it power, but I don't think that'll work. All right, so let's go ahead and, um, oh, we'll take one more sip really quick. <sighs> now that's good. Okay. So you take your knife. You get a big glob of butter like that. I think that's enough butter. 
It might not be for you, for your taste, but um, this should be enough for both pieces of bread. If not, we'll get some more. Make sure I get that in front of the camera. Actually, that's probably too much butter, but, you know, we all got to die of something someday, so we'll just go ahead and uh, we'll send it. Ideally, you don't want this uh, butter to be cold. It's harder to spread. You see, I keep fucking up every once in a while. But, um, you know. <clears throat> you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. I'm not gonna put the whole tub of butter in the microwave. Um, can't you use that on a plug? I don't have any plugs that have USB ports. I'm not... This place was built in, like, 1960 or something. So, um... I don't have access to cool cool plugs like that. That's only at my dad's house because he, he's the millionaire. And I have to live down here in Cracktown, okay? Alright, we got this shit pretty buttered up. Um, now, I don't want to waste anything. I'm not a very wasteful kind of guy. So I think we'll just throw this back in the tub like, like so. Might get some breadcrumbs in there for the next time I use it. But, you know, some shit happens. I'm sure breadcrumbs aren't going to give me, like, salmonella or something. <clears throat> or sarsaparilla or whatever the fuck it's called. All right, so we got our two pieces of bread buttered up. They're looking nice. Let's go ahead and start the flame. Um, this is the dangerous part because this, this gets hot or something. I think that's how cooking works. We can go ahead and take a sip of our beer while that heats up, though. I probably should have turned that on earlier. But we can do a little bit more prep here while we're waiting. We can open up these fucking things. <clears throat> there we go. Nice craft American cheese. You don't get that where uh, sugar lives. It's hard to figure out where to fucking open them from, though. It's really fucking hard. <clears throat> Oh, there we go. Alright, as far as preparation, I mean, we're we're pretty much good to go now. Might blow my nose really quick. I'll grab one of these uh, clean paper towels. Very clean, by the way, remember. Ah. Nothing gets me hungrier than, you know, having to blow my nose and then drink a beer. Oh, that is refreshing. All right, chat. How do you guys think that um, you have a USB plug for your phone? It's not this big-ass one, sugar. Sugar, if you think that this fucking thing is plugging into your phone, you are out of your mind. We do. We just don't buy it because we like real cheese. I'm going to go ahead and... Give you the first middle finger of the cooking stream. Sorry, it's so fucking shaky. The, the floors aren't very good in this place. Sugar, this thing only connects to a USB. I'm not going to adapt this thing now and it might catch fire. I bought it on Amazon for like 15 bucks. Alright, anyways... Sorry about that chat. Sorry about sugar. You know, she tries to like interrupt everything and make sure she does it, you know, her way. All right. So the first thing you want to do, you want to place this. Some people like to butter both sides and some people like to butter one side. I'm a one-sided kind of guy. Um, so we're going to go ahead and plop this down. And then you want to go ahead and throw your cheese on. We're going to do one, one little bit of cheese here. It's already starting to get a little hot. <clears throat> now, when you open these fucking packages up, they don't reseal, so I throw them in Ziploc baggies. Because if not, they'll start to mold in like two fucking seconds. But we're going to go with, um... 
Oh, actually, let's do some shredded cheese first. Now, the thing with shredded cheese, it's really hard to keep it in the pan. Because you'll, you'll fucking... Some of the shit will drip on there and then, like, catch fire and shit like that. So you gotta be really careful. So what I like to do is I pile it up and then just move it around a little bit. Because it's not really hot right now. Like, oh, fuck, that's really hot. Okay. Um, but besides if you just touch the pan directly, it's not that hot. Alright, we're gonna go with, um, two pieces of ham here. Got two of them stuck together. They're kind of big. I don't know what that... Oh, hold on. Let me pick it back up. I don't know what this fucking thing is. I probably am not going to like that. Um, that's probably not good. But we're going to put it on there anyway. Sugar, I'm just fucking with you, okay? Can you just enjoy the cooking stream for once? Because it's the first one. All right, we can put the ham away now. I have two different types of hams, but we're not going to get too fancy tonight. I, I don't think uh, you guys could follow along if I keep adding a bunch of ingredients. All right, we'll throw that on there. Give another good little handful of uh, mozzarella cheese. Not too much. Actually, a good idea, I don't this is kind of dangerous because uh, I already put this together, but <clears throat> the fucking ham slides around a little bit if you don't add cheese in the middle. I'm going to add a little bit of cheese in the middle. Don't try this at home, kids, because this is, this is the dangerous part. I was supposed to do that first, actually. But yeah, that, that'll be enough cheese. It'll stick together. There we go. Oh, fuck, the ham's falling apart. There we go. All right, that'll melt in there nice and good. It's okay to use your hands, especially if you washed them before, which I, I kind of forgot to do, but I'm the only one eating it, so you guys don't have to really worry about that. So um, <clears throat> now what I like to do to help the cheese melt, we're going to throw a fucking cover on there. And then we can clean up the rest of this fucking mess I just made. There's uh, pieces of cheese everywhere. Very not good. You know what would make it taste nice? If you say mayo, you're banned. <clears throat> Alright, let's close all this shit up. Now, normally I wash my hands before I start cooking, but now that I got all this cheese and ham residue on me, I, I really need to wash my hands. I think having high quality paper towels is the thing that sets kitchens apart, you know? So it's good that we have those. Fuck. Trash cans full. I'll get sugar to come by and clean that uh, tomorrow or something. All right. We've got our spatula. We're, I mean, the recipe's almost done, Chad. It speaks for itself. But uh, that's going to be one good sandwich. Now that we have more room, I can put the beer to the side. If you crack in an egg, whisk it, and put it in the frying pan, and let the bread soak up the egg. Mm, we're not going to get too experimental here, okay? I don't want to go too nuts. We're doing a simple recipe so people can follow along. Yeah, this is... I mean, most of this is just a lot of prep work, so we're basically almost done. A 
by the way, my dad's been doing this for years. Is it safe to have, like, little cum towels hanging on the, uh, the stove door? I've always wondered about that. What's up, Racer? You can use turkey. Yeah, good question. That's if you want to be a little bit more healthy. My my ham already has like um, some kind of STD on it or something out of the two slices that I had. So, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so normally this is the tripod and the camera that I would use for um, opening up Pokemon cards and stuff like that. But we don't have any money these days, so we just have to improvise. Wow, Nico, you're not even going to watch the finished product? Okay. Yeah, have a good night, Nico. Don't worry, I'm not really going to message Changer and the other guy and then uh, fight them over winning bingo. A head injury? What the fuck? Oh, do they make you do more shots? All right, now this is about the time where I check it. Starting to get a little hot here. It's got some steam shit coming up. Um, so you got to flip it. I can't show you guys this on camera, but... Oh, fuck. Yeah, it's time to flip it. All right, so flipping it's going to be a little bit challenging because I have to work around this fucking camera, but... There we go. It's actually a little bit more darker than what I normally would go for, but... <clears throat> I got caught ch talking to chat a little bit and uh, almost caught my police on fire, but that's okay. <laughs> I hope that got clipped, Nico. I'll watch that. Yeah, Nico's a girl. Well, then I'll just rely on uh, a GoFundMe account if uh, it actually catches on fire. So, um, oh god, it is a little smoky in here. Holy shit. So the next thing, the next thing's next. You're going to want to get your knife ready. Um, I use giant butcher knives for pretty much everything. Except for uh, butter. Because this thing's very impractical. But we're going to use this fucking thing. No, there's no insurance here. We we can't afford that. What's up, Psycho? Welcome to the cooking stream. All right, we're, oh shit, we need to uh, cover this back up, by the way. Because we want to make sure that the cheese is all melted. The cheese melting is very important for the... The content... The content... The... The can... The can... To do... The continuity of this of the sandwich. You missed the first part of it, Psycho, and unfortunately, I don't save any vods anymore or anything like that. Some some people might drive by my trailer, blasting some Tupac, and then I get DMCA'd. So you're not gonna be able to see the beginning of it. But we're making um, we're making a sandwich. Yeah, while we enjoy a cold beer, too. All right, that shot should probably be good. Go ahead and turn the uh, power down here. Make sure you turn the stove off if you plan on doing this yourself. You could get drunk and forget, and that's when it really goes to shit. Hopefully I didn't burn this too bad. 
go ahead and flip it and make sure. Yeah, it got burned pretty bad, but um, it it's still pretty edible. It's it's a little slidey around. I don't I don't like the slidey around. I don't like it when it slides around like that. That's why I tried to add the extra cheese, but it wasn't enough for um, the pieces of ham to stay together. So, fuck it. I mean, you got to do what you got to do. Let's cut this bitch open and give you guys a cross section. Hopefully this isn't the shot. That's that's pretty burnt, but probably still edible. I've made better ones before, but um, you know, sometimes when you're under pressure, you have like a lot of pressure from chat and stuff like that. Um, you know, mistakes mistakes can happen. It's probably not a big deal. Um, you definitely, I mean, if you burn it, if you burn it, you definitely won't get sarsaparilla or salmonella or whatever it's called. So, I mean, take your chances, you know, do, do what you guys think is best. I like to wipe the cheese off my knife because, uh, that way it doesn't get stuck in your fucking drain. And I get to play around with the knife a little bit more. Um, cause you guys can see with how great I am at making sandwiches, I'm also an expert knife wielder. Fuck, I just stabbed myself. Oh shit. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> well, besides the, uh, oh shit. Oh, this isn't good. All right, well, I want you guys to check it out. I'm, I fucking kind of bleeding all over the fucking place and shit, but, um, you know, it, it turned out, it, it seems like an okay sandwich. I'll, I'll probably eat it, so. <laughs> Do you guys think it looks that bad? No, I'll try it right now. Obviously, the cook, we just have to let it cool down a little bit. There's only a little bit of blood on there anyways. I'm just kidding, Chad. It's ketchup, obviously. You guys should have heard me go into the fridge to grab the ketchup bottle. I didn't really want ketchup on it. That's why I sprayed it over here. Overnight cool. Motherfucker, there's like eight layers of cheese in this bitch. I don't want to burn my mouth. Do you not read label sugar? You're supposed to put ketchup in it after you, after you open it up. I'll prove it to you. They only have it closed in grocery stores. After that, you're supposed to fucking keep it closed in the fridge. All right. Oh, let's try to focus here. I can barely read it because my tripod's in the way. There, it says right there. Refrigerate after opening. You, you had no pity on the bread, but on your mouth, you're like, let's not burn that. Blame the beer. Okay. 
whatever. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to try to back this up a little bit. I'm going to back my the ass up of my tripod. You guys can get, get a good shot of me eating this, okay? Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's the good shit right there. Oh. It's like I'm eating a fucking... It's like I'm eating a goddamn cheese stick or something. That looks good. It's a little burnt. I don't know, maybe the maybe the ketchup will help it. This is pretty this is pretty black. It's actually pretty good.